advises Advanced Wiring Company. Do you work for a this wiring company? Further. It's a covert. <laughs> Did he seriously so think dumb. it was? That's awesome. Yo! He's just blowing the lid, dude. Full FBI badge. Yes. Yes. All right, let's watch this one. I want to watch this one. Harassing me at this Harassing point. I, I'd like to here. leave. May I leave now, please? Huh? Where'd you get this? That's what she was she too. Federal Bureau Investigation badge? Like I'm being detained. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, so call 911. Call, I need medical attention right now. I love you. Hey, turn around. Let me see your hands. Five turn around. Let me see one. your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. You I need to see some ID. One. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. I remember Look. this one. Go on, face down on the ground. Face down now. Imagine being a trained federal agent. Only I remember this one. This one is the goat, dude. It's so sick. Dude, I love watching pig on pig violence. It's the best, dude. Oh my god, I love this. Is so in my wheelhouse. Holy you need to find shit. yourself on the wrong side of the law due to some questionable decisions made by some stupid local cops. Here are five real world examples of situations where cops try to mess with FBI agents. Stories that will leave you not only stunned, but also wondering about the state of law enforcement we have today. But first, please hit the like button as YouTube is not a fan of these kind of videos. Now, let's get started. Yeah, Kicking right. off today's episode. 22 million views in one month, dog. No, YouTube definitely is a fan. I don't think this guy's a real fed, by the way. Episode is this rather hilarious, but sad video of two cops in Rochester, Minnesota, approaching a South Sudanese man claiming he looked like a suspect they have been searching for. Yeah, it turns out this guy wasn't actually a fed. I remember, dude, I think I'm gonna know all of these stories because I, I I love these. But they were unaware of what fate had in store for them. And the situation took a sudden 180 when they realized the man was an undercover FBI agent. Let's take a look at how the complete situation unfolded. You've been, you're been your racial Yeah, I watched a lot of these when they were just news. Exactly. Like when they weren't in a compi, but, but when they were just straight up news. Um, yeah, he wasn't like a full-blown agent. I forget what his... He, he definitely wasn't like a full-blown agent, I, I'm pretty sure. Am I? Yeah, you're wrong. You're assuming I'm someone that I'm not. Get out of my face, right? He yes, cooks them, though. Yes, you guys are. Hey, that's you're right. harassing me. Yes, you, me. Me. yes, you are. No, no, no. no. He's harassing me. Why are you harassing me? You're assuming I'm someone I'm not. Okay, if you're not, then... No, 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 no. I'm not free to go. Okay. Oh, so am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? Because I think you have more. You think? Yeah. That's an illusion. That's, that's an okay. illusion. You think? Stand up your hands. I'm not here. Let me get this straight. So, our two wise cops here think that the guy is a suspect because he just happens to look like someone who committed a crime. A hunch, you could say. Not to mention the fact that the guy seemed pretty confident that the cops had him wrong and went even a step further, accusing the overzealous cops of racially profiling him. That makes it even that's so funny because he's like the cop very openly is like no you're black i think you have a warrant okay dude more shocking is that these dum-dums also believe that that's enough to detain him don't these guys know anything about the law remember the law requires cops to have reasonable suspicion that someone has committed a crime excuse and me it's called being black okay uh that's reasonable suspicion i'm pretty sure oh look what do we have here must be based on more than a hunch what this means is anything these cops did from excuse me was it's more than a hunch he's black you can see his skin color on the video there is no suspicion that he is black we know it the do you mean hey beyond legal and was unconstitutional I don't have any hey, yeah, yeah, no, no, no you are wrong what do you mean if you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong all right this is the second time I'm hearing this from the officer. If I am wrong, I am wrong? Think about it. It's one frightening statement that's both unprofessional and dangerous at the same time. If officers start throwing such excuses and logic in situations like these, you can only imagine what they would do if the stakes were high. This could easily turn out to be a nightmare for someone if you ask me. I didn't do nothing. I remember that one too. For what? I, oh my God, I've watched so many police brutality and false arrest videos and have covered it so much throughout my career. I remember that specific one, too. For what? That's not a fed, though. That's a different one. For what? I'm under arrest for what? 
Yeah. No, no, no. If you got the wrong guy, I'm showing all of you guys. Let me get your card. Can I get your card? Can I get your card? Okay. I'm not standing up. Front. Listen, I'm not under arrest. I don't have a warrant. I don't have any. Unfortunately for the cops, the encounter was filmed on a cell phone camera, and we can see how the man repeatedly kept calling them out on their mistake and pointed out that they didn't have a warrant to arrest him. Something these cops should have known already. But th Correction. The verdict of this case uh, of this check has been updated to remove the term wrongfully. The man in the video was briefly detained by the police in a case of mistaken identity. A video going viral on social media. Uh, the video dates from 2019. The man in the video is not an FBI agent. Examples of social media posts can be seen here. Here. Post video features a black man wearing a red t-shirt getting handcuffed by white police officers. Various posts on social media concluded the man was secretly an FBI agent. However, Rochester Police Department confirmed to Reuters via email that contrary to social media rumors, the individual was not a FBI agent. During the brief detention, identification was located showing that he was not the individual officers knew had a warrant. The individual was immediately released. By the way, that's the funniest part. They're like, yeah, he was not an FBI agent. Okay, you still falsely detained him and arrested him that doesn't change the dynamic of the story at all dumbass just for the record i hope people understand like i'm just clarifying that he was uh i remember reading about how he was not an agent i never said that it is like appropriate for them to detain him confirmed an instagram comment the claim the man was an undercover fbi agent was a rumor that started on twitter i think he was still uh, like i don't think he was fbi i think he he had like i think he had uh some kind of law enforcement background though. I don't think he's FBI. Then things quickly escalated when one of the officers tried to grab him. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 and it seems like they know the man and are telling the officers that they made a big mistake and they got the wrong guy. You guys don't got the wrong guy. You guys are fucking stupid. That's not you. You guys are racial profile thinking I'm somebody. Hey, Take some cuffs off. You guys really had nothing else to go to college for but be a cop and harass me? To assume I'm somebody I'm not? My ID's in my back pocket. After the arrest, thinking it was a run-of-the-mill situation, this officer finally decided to follow up on the guy's request to check his ID. Watch, hey, watch, funny how, watch how funny this is. Little does he know, He's in for a shock. Oh, what does that say? Go. What does that say? Oh. Wrong guy. Oh. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Oh my Wrong God. God. Turns out the person in cuffs is not just any suspect. No, no, it's an FBI agent. Right here in the middle of a local law enforcement activity and these cops are in big trouble. He was not FBI, but uh, I, I forget what it is. I mean, they don't mention it in the Reuters uh, report, but I remember seeing something like he is a, uh, they would, they, he is, he is like some kind of law enforcement, I think. You can only imagine the cop's expression, utter shock. It's not every day you arrest someone and they flash an FBI badge in your face. Just notice how this arrogant cop shifts from constantly establishing direct eye contact with the supposed suspect to avoiding any eye contact entirely after inspecting the ID. No, get the f off me, dude. Get off me, dude. Bro, you I need our cards. I need your supervisor over here. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. The agent goes on to reasonably explain the whole situation to the supervisor, who clearly looks uneasy at this point and is desperately looking for the nearest exit. Sir, can you please come here? Are you the supervisor? These guys are racially profiling me. They assume I'm someone that I'm not. I told them I'm not who they think I am. And they, still and they said, no, nope, you are. I'm, I'm positive you are. But as soon as the agent demands their IDs, he showed his true colors. I need their cards. I need your card. I need your card. I need, I need, I need your card. No, no. Yes, I request your card. Why is that? Instead of owning up to his I don't know if he's an EMT because what the f car would you have? They don't, they don't give a shit. They'll f beat the shit out of EMTs. His mistake, as he should have, I don't his know supervisor what it is. chose to defend their actions, giving flimsy reasons for the whole screw up. Get them in, Sarge, will you? But seeing he had no choice but to obey- If one more person sends the same goddamn fact check article, I'm gonna lose my f mind. I know, I know, I know that he's not FBI. Oh my God, the video's wrong. I don't think it was an EMT thing because if it was a f EMT thing, it wouldn't matter. Uh, it, cops will arrest the shit out of EMTs. The agent's demand, the IDs came out. 
First the supervisor, and then the two geniuses who started this whole fiasco. Is that how you guys work on this? You assume someone is someone and that's it? You're, why are you still watching a video with clear lines in them? Wait, what? Brother, this video has 22 million views. I'm the one who's literally clarifying the, 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 the actual incorrect information in it. And ultimately, it's still a case of false detainment. Are you that desperate to defend cops? Like, what the f Also, the other ones are federal agents. Including this, uh, this famous one. I think it was uh, either ETF, uh, ATF that they f literally beat the shit out of too. That's all you guys need. Yeah. Oh my God! What is American? Game? Guilty and cocky. It's a hell of a dangerous combination, folks. You do lie it's sometimes, though. No, I don't, and I don't lie at the top of the hour either. I tell you exactly what's going to happen. I tell you that there's a three-minute ad break coming. Don't try to. F bait me like that okay yeah at the top of the hour there's a three minute ad break and that is not a lie unless you're a 35 month subscriber and you literally yeah see okay dude well you can't catch me i'm faster than you i'm literally f faster than you now of course you might think that that's a lie that there's a three minute ad break at the top of the hour if you are subscribed because you never see the ads so so in your mind you're like what there's no three minute ad break except there is at the top of the hour there is a three minute ad break so if you want to be like those who do not see those ads all you need to do is subscribe or get gifted a sub by the likes of winter rose 96 thank you for the five community to give the subs allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour here is the cerveza cristal three minute ad break now it's cops like these who sully the good name of the entire law enforcement agencies instead of admitting his fault which he should have rightfully done all we see here is a man who doesn't have an ounce of regret. Shame on you, officer. But then again, what can we expect when you're led by such supervisors? I will make a complaint on all three of you guys. That's fine. Do your job better. Okay. So if you want to really make a complaint, you go make it. I will make a Sorry. complaint. All right. See what I'm talking about? All I can say is that the entire event was nothing but a poor show of unprofessionalism and a lack of A, B, and Cs of basic law knowledge shown by these foolish cops. As far as silver linings go, at least no one got harmed in this case, which is more than I can say for this FBI agent here. You run your body cam? I, I am now because I- The friend who posted the video said the man is a paramedic. I don't know how legit you are at the moment. It's okay. Special agent had The FBI. Okay. This one's awesome. Cam? I do, but I don't understand what the problem is with your meet me at the office. I'll talk to the U.S. Attorney's office about it. You can cut off the recording now okay well, i will when i leave the area sir you might question why this fbi agent is asking the officer to cut off the recording device something doesn't add up here red flags for the fbi agent right well the answer is our special agent hatton was actually investigating police corruption in the franklin county police department <laughs> and as a part of this undercover operation he asked the officer in the video mr rolf gordon to meet him at a random parking lot perhaps to ask some questions related to the case However, the officer didn't like the fact that the agent called his personal phone number instead of taking things through his office and grew skeptical of him despite the agent's disclosure of his credentials. Hey TJ, this guy is uh, telling me to turn my body camera off and telling me he's gonna contact other people to get involved with this. Let's get his tag number real quick. He's got a radio and he's got credentials. Franklin, does that come back to any government agency? It just advises Advanced Wiring Company. Do you work for a Doesn't wiring company? Further. It's a covert. <laughs> Did he seriously so think dumb. it was? That's awesome. Yo! He's just blowing the lid, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Advanced Wiring Company? Doesn't sound like. Wait a minute. Who does wires again? Hmm. Let's not think about this any further from the man who showed me his fucking full FBI badge. Yes. Yes. What? Of course, it's a covert vehicle. What kind of undercover FBI agent would drive in an FBI registered vehicle? I do feel like I'm being detained. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, sir. How yeah. did you get my phone number? That's a pretty dumb thing to ask from an FBI agent. Hey, if an FBI agent is investigating you, rest assured he knows your number, your address, your affairs, your wife's affairs. Hell, he might even know your breakfast, lunch, and dinner patterns. Okay, no, they don't. No. 
Oh God, this video is so dumb. No, no, they know your phone number, yes. Come on, bro. Not every single person that they're that they're like trying to get information from, they're literally doing this level of like in-depth analysis. Including what types of boxers you like to wear. It's also important to note here that Agent Hatton had valid reasons for seeking such an informal meeting with Deputy Gordon, as revealed later in the interaction when Agent Hatton subtly hints at his potential involvement in a more extensive inquiry into the Sheriff's office that goes beyond the scope of the Deputy's citation while conversing with his supervisor. You can't call anybody in the PD because the PD is just here backing this guy up. It's Franklin County this morning, so you have to call the Sheriff to let him know that his deputies have been stopped here and are holding me, he's gonna ask why, you're not gonna be able to take. Hmm, the plot thickens. Anyway, the officer later goes on to detain him, giving sloppy reasons like, oh, I don't trust you being an FBI agent, and you are being uncooperative, when in truth, he was the one who denied checking the agent's registration. Hey, you are detained at this time, sir. Hey, I don't think this guy's legit, man. But you're being very uncooperative with me, I, you asked me to come up here, you called my personal cell phone number. You, do, you can't tell me how you got it. Your vehicle is coming back to a wiring company, not the it's FBI. A covert vehicle. Okay. You Dude, get would mad you at, like to see some registration? You get mad at me would because you, I turned my body like to, camera on. Would you like to see some registration? And you know a lot of stuff about me. Would you like to see the registration, sir? I, I don't really want anything from you at this point. My supervisor's on the way. Excellent. Uncooperative? Really? First, do your job as an officer. As the dilemma continued, Agent Haddon even showed his license and his badge for the second time to Officer Gordon. But somehow, Gordon remained unconvinced. For, uh, for people who will say like, oh, this could be faked, it's like, that right there is highly, highly unlikely to be faked. You want to know why? Because what he just did right there carries like a 30-year charge or whatever. Imperson impersonating a federal law enforcement officer is like... You're going to jail for a very long time. I don't know what the exact uh, what the exact punishment is. Let's see. Impersonating a federal agent felony charge. That alone. Okay, never mind. It's not that bad, actually. It's only three years. Jesus Christ. Woke liberals. Woke liberals made it so that you can impersonate a federal agent. I thought it was like, that's not that bad, boys. That's not that bad. Now I know why Legion did it. I mean, murder is 25. But I thought that it was like tacked on every time. Three years in prison, not that bad. Legion al Gaib. Multiple supervisory officers arrived on the scene, but they were even worse than Officer Gordon and decided to arrest him and put him in the back of the patrol car. Not only this, they even decided to not roll down the windows or turn on the AC, and given the hot day in Florida, it was only inevitable that things didn't go well for Agent Hatton. Yes, sir. There, brother. Okay, okay. All right, I'm turning it on right brother, now. Open the door. I can't breathe. Sir, I can't open the door. You're what? being detained right now. As time passed, the agent started complaining, and in spite of his repeated plea, the cop continued to ignore him. You're burning me up, brother. I had the defroster on. No, you didn't. Brother, I need air. God almighty. All of a sudden, they receive a phone call that should put the entire event to rest. 33, go ahead. He is, he is legit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's what I'm doing right now. Here we go. All the proof you need in the world. However, even after this, the officer chooses to retain the agent inside the patrol vehicle, despite receiving explicit confirmation that he is, indeed, in That's awesome. That's awesome. He's like, nah, you, you cook in there a little bit longer, bitch. <laughs> Yo, God, I love, I love this so much. This is so good. He's just giving, he's just giving him a little torture as a treat. You know what I mean? Just a little extra torture on the side. Who cares, man? You, you sit there. Want to investigate my precinct? FBI agent. Instead of promptly following the given instructions to release well, him, Pig Rose. the officers continue conversing about the situation. All the while, the agent pleads for his release. It is only after an additional three minutes of entirely unnecessary conversation that the agent is finally allowed to exit the vehicle. But sadly, the damage was done. Call 911. Call, I need a medical attention right now. Call, call 911. This is why, dude, the FBI has gone 
These libtards made the FBI a bunch of pussies, okay? You can't even sit in a goddamn back of a goddamn cop car. That's DEI right there. Let me tell you something, folks. Back in my day, FBI agents were Mormon, okay? They'd sit in any back of goddamn cop cars. They could sit there for 10 hours if they wanted to. You can fry them up like bacon. They wouldn't say nothing. We're, we're releasing you right no, now, call sir. Call 911 now. Call 911. I need 30, 30, 30. After a further 10 minutes, the medics finally arrived and the cop explained the whole situation and said that the man complained about shortness of breath and vision loss. Started complaining of uh, shortness of breath, vision loss. In the hours after Hatton was released, FBI agents in brass descended on Apalachicola, meeting with Gordon and the sheriff to find out what happened and why. Both agencies later decided to put the incident in the rearview mirror, followed by Sheriff Smith's promise, and I quote that, both our agencies work together a lot better. Smith also agreed to the fact that they needed more training. I think you missed the cop had the defroster on for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> the reason was he's annoyed. The reason was you have inconvenienced me and I am a god. You are but a mere man, a mortal in the sight of a god. I, I hold your life in my hands. It don't matter. But honestly, training or no training, that's no way to treat someone, let alone a fellow law enforcer. It's a great example of ego and how ego gets in the way of common sense. It also shows how sometimes police can take literally anything you say or do and turn it against you. Oh, and if you don't say anything, you're being uncooperative, and that's also grounds for suspicion. Fortunately, baby sleeping. She was shaking earlier. I don't know if you can see. She's so eepy. Despite what can only be characterized as disrespect and negligence from the officers, the agent did not sustain any significant injuries. However, the same cannot be said for ATF agent Burke, who was subjected to such mistreatment by the police that he found it necessary to file a lawsuit against Yeah, this them. one is a famous case. On July 7th, 2020, Agent James- This one was awesome when it happened. This one was so fire. I covered this as a news story when it first happened. Burke, a 16 year veteran of the ATF, was dispatched to a home on the 3300 block of Edgebrook Drive near Dublin, Ohio, to confiscate a shotgun from a resident who was not permitted to have a firearm. But instead of letting him in, they closed the door in his face and called 911, reading Burke's badge number to the dispatcher. In Burke's mind, it was no big deal as he was frequently used to this verification process. What happened next was not only shocking to Burke, but to anyone who's watching this video. Hey, turn around, let me see your hands. Turn around, let me see your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. I need to see some ID, get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. What are you? Get on the ground now. Federal agent. Sensing extreme aggression from the officer, Burke outright refuses to follow his orders to drop to the ground, seemingly determined to- Really f***ed up, man. See, you can't- See, here's what you can't do. Inconvenience me on this holy day, okay? Bro, bro went in with his service weapon unholstered, ready to go. It took him literally two seconds to pull out the gap. Two seconds, bro. It's just like, you're so psychotic. Challenge the police's authority to frisk him for weapons. I am a federal agent. I don't need to obey orders from the local police, he must have thought. But if that were the case, it would mean that any criminal could easily lie and say they're a federal agent to avoid doing what the police say. Even if Burke didn't seem dangerous, he should have just done what the police told him politely so they could quickly understand what was happening. Naturally, things escalated. Why wouldn't you show me your ID when I got here? Don't move forward, okay. forward. You didn't ask for it. He is at Get on the ground. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not overreacting. We got a call that someone's impersonating a police officer out here and doesn't have ID. No kidding. Because she doesn't want to open it. Okay, get on the ground so I can find out who you are. It ain't happening. Okay, fine. Fine. Do you find I think I'm a police officer or something? What the heck's the matter with you? Who do you think you are? Get on the ground. Down to the voice. Down to the voice break is so good. Who do you think you are? Fine, I'll shoot you. You're not Watch out for things. I'm not kidding. 917, I'm pulling up. I got my ID. Do not I'm reach for your up. waist! Despite Burke's best efforts to prove his identity to the officer, the officer continued to remain hostile and keep his gun drawn. 
Once the second officer arrived, the situation took a turn for the worse for Burke. Keep your hands up. Sir! Don't argue! Face Dude, God. These incompetent losers, man. These incompetent losers. It is so crazy. Face down on the ground. Face down now! Running out of corners, he had no choice but to comply with the officer's demands. The officers kept their firearms drawn at Burke for over 90 seconds before they very aggressively placed him under arrest. All the way. You got my IDs right here, left pocket. Left pocket. And we're going to put your arm on your back. Wait a sec. Do not resist. I'm not resisting. You're acting like a... No. He's literally laughing. Hold on. Wait a second. Stop. Wait a second. Wait a Damn sec. No, don't do this. Wait a second. I got a medical condition. Get my license out of my pocket. All I'm saying is, this is two in a row. Oh, yeah, here. Look, like, see? An ATF agent was tased, arrested at gunpoint by Columbus police. Wait, what? Get on the ground. We'll figure it out. Keep your hands up. Sir! Don't argue. Face down. On the ground. Face down now. Face down. Look at that hair. I am a fan of that. You know, Hogalina's gone wild. Uh, you know, hog on hog violence. Let's take a look. There is no more consistent a man than me in this field. Okay. I am the most consistent man. It's crazy. The only thing that changed the haircut. That's it. We're getting you secured. You look like a conscientious objector to Vietnam. <laughs> please, please, wait. Don't go. Hold on. Hold on. I'm hyperventilating. I don't. Please, sir. I'm, wait, I'm, I'm not. Stop resisting. Would you now. please get my ID? I <laughs> Woke libtards infiltrated the federal agencies. They don't. They got. They got asthma. My left pocket. Stop I'm resisting. You. My my wife. Please. Stop right here. Resist. Please get it. I got one cuff on. Sir, get your cuff. Just hold me up. Yeah. Sir. Check Check Sir. Stop resisting now. Please help me. But wait, the show isn't over yet. Apart from the uncanny aggression, these cops left no stone unturned in bullying Burke. During the forceful arrest, they repeatedly used a taser on him despite him being face down on the ground and not putting up any resistance. Please, Joe, get my, your taser out. My taser, my get your taser out. Friend. Get your taser out, Joe. No, don't do that, please. Sir. Don't make me tase you. Get oh, oh, don't do that. Okay. Sir. Get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. It is cuffed. Get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. <laughs> In pain, Burke continued to tell the officers that he was a legit ATF agent out on a case and his ID was in his pocket. Regardless of the confirmation, the officer continued with the arrest and put him in the back of the patrol vehicle. Why would you make us do this? I didn't want you to. I want to date. Wait. No. And this is against white people? Bro, this is not just any white person. This is an ATF officer. This is federal law enforcement. If they do this to an ATF guy, what do you think they will do to you? That's it. You knew what you were doing. Sir, sir, calm down. Relax. Hold sir. Hey, guys, please, just talk to me for one second, please. Get in the car. No, we'll wait. talk later. Sir, wait, wait. He's like, still, the reason why he's so understanding of the hog pieces of shit here is because he's a hog himself. You know what I mean? It's like, guys, please, like, I, listen, I'm one of you, okay? I know what it takes to beat the shit, brutalize a suspect, okay? I get it, but like, just listen to what I have to say. You had your chance. No, I was trying to give you my cred. You no, didn't let me show him to you. never once tried. I did. Get wait, in the car. Wait, wait. Now. Have a seat. Please. Wait, I got to breathe. Okay, Please, you sir, can, let you me can breathe. sit down and breathe. Let me breathe. I, got, I have a medical condition. We're going to get air to you. Get no, your legs no. in. Get your sir. legs in. We're closing this door. The cops then forced Burke into the vehicle, ignoring all his pleas and explanations regarding his medical condition. I need air. Sir, please, call an ambulance. I'm asking for an ambulance. Okay, okay, okay. You're an idiot. For crying out loud, you're a cop. You're not an ass. No way. I can't. You're my head up. The seatbelt's in place. Please. Why would you act like this? I didn't act anyway. I love that at this point, he's like also saying he might be a cop. It's so funny. He's like, look what you made me do, you cop piece of shit. So sick. If you are a real police officer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I was trying to- What the f Dude. Oh, look what you made me do. Give me my credit. After about an hour, Burke was released without any charges. Later, Burke decided to file a civil lawsuit against the Columbus Police Department and the two officers involved in the incident, accusing them of use of excessive force and unlawful arrest. 
It was also reported that the trauma had such an impact on Burke on both physical and psychological levels that he has since moved to an administrative role within the ATF instead of field work. Our thoughts on the matter? Well, as evident from the footage without a shadow of a doubt, the officer's behavior is anything but constitutional in this case, and screams of aggression. But to give them a little benefit of the doubt, honestly, both parties involved are guilty to some extent. What? Dog, yo, YouTube copaganda guys literally will be like, I know this police officer directly shot you in the face eight times after you showed your badge, but have you perhaps thought about not having your head in the direction of the bullets? Like, what are we doing, man? I hate to do this but and, and defend the ATF agent here, but like, he absolutely didn't do anything wrong. Like, there's not, they tased him on the ground after he said he has a medical condition when his fat ass knee was on his chest, dog. What do you mean? And Burke could have easily handled the entire altercation much more maturely by just agreeing to just surrender peacefully in the first place. That's crazy. Sure, That's crazy. Dude, Americans are such cucks. Oh my God. There's nothing funnier to me than Americans who are like, yeah, dude, that's right. You ply my guns out of my cold dead hands and shit. While also simultaneously being the guys who are like, why didn't he just personally suck pavement? Why didn't he curb stomp himself when the cops came over? Like you are such, this is such peasant mindset, dude. I swear to God. Americans love fancying themselves to be revolutionary figures that literally buckle at the first sight of like a fraction of authority. It is the most insane. Like how do we convince 330 million people that they are simultaneously the most like hyper individualistic people that also are the most servile. Okay. It is so odd. It's so weird. People literally will just be like, they will literally get you killed. You moron. You're not talking to me. I, I hope they are though. He's not wrong. Everyone knows how cops act. So why would you deliberately not cooperate? Brother, we are currently talking about how police should behave. Knowing how they behave does not mean you can justify how they behave. It is insane to me. It is insane. It's so bizarre to see how people act towards cops when you aren't a minority. Why would you ever fight back against someone who can legally kill you, lol? Also, the cop was literally cooperating. Also, we're forgetting that he did submit. Like, he actually tried to submit to a dude who had a gun trained on him from the jump. Oh my god, everyone is, is so servile. Everyone is so goddamn submissive and ready to be like nope i defend authority no matter what no matter who's doing it even when authority is doing it to another figure of authority they tased them four times while he was on the ground saying i'm cooperating his hands were cuffed behind his back when did he cooperate he was screaming that he won't get on the ground brother they put him on the ground and they tased him four times he kept saying Grab my ID from my pocket. What more could he have done? And no, you should not have to get on the f ground. You should not have to get on the ground because a cop said so. Like, it makes no goddamn sense. What the f do you mean? Are you guys crazy? Pretty stupid to ignore instructions. Stop. No, I think people are trying to trigger me, right? I'm losing my mind. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way this many people think it's totally just for a piece of shit with like three minutes of training to just roll up to you and bust out the service weapon and just be like get the on the ground now like oh my god what is happening what is happening brother what are you saying okay i have a gun i walk up to you and i say take your pants off or suck my if you don't ignore, if you ignore my instructions, you're going to die. Pretty stupid not to suck my cock then, is that, don't you think? Because this situation that I'm presenting to you is no different than what the cop is doing. There is no excuse for what you're describing. There is no way in, there's no way in hell that you are genuinely making a might is right argument. Especially when police have a monopoly of violence. What? I have a strong suspicion we had the same argument three years ago. You have to realize a cop heard this lady being investigated by the ATF said, hey, this guy's pretending to be a cop. Like, what the? is that this is crazy shadows have never gotten in a fight or arrested like when someone hits you and you're on the ground the natural reaction is to recoil and try to cover your head just light being handcuffed especially if your wide shoulders are incredibly uncomfortable can easily make you have a panic attack yeah a, a lot of people don't understand resisting arrest is a bullshit charge usually 
It is just a tack on. You want to know why? Because handcuffs are designed in a way for your body to contort in a way that it doesn't want to. So automatically, naturally, you flinch at that position that you don't want to be in that position. They are not comfortable at all, which is precisely the reason why when people go, oh, I'm adding on a resisting arrest here. It's like, bitch, no, you're not. I'm not. I'm trying to cooperate. The logical conclusion that chatters are genuinely presenting here is that if a cop comes up to you or anyone with a gun comes up to you and says, suck my cock right now, then they're in the right. If you don't suck their cock and they shoot you in the face, you're in the wrong because they had a gun and you should have sucked their cock immediately. I'm losing my mind. America is a military state, so we think that cops can do whatever the fuck they want because if we don't, because if we don't, we a badass third country is so dumb. We are isolated. We can't see how bad it is. Some order of conduct that people believe like nationalism. Police defenders basically identified the one point where the dude made a mistake and decided that whatever else happened to him after that was justified because he made a mistake. You have your rights, but they don't exist to get you paid after you've cooperated with injustice. It, there is the only person that made a mistake there is not the dude being like, what the f are you doing? I'm an agent of the ATF. The person making a mistake in that situation is the cop that came in with his gun drawn. What are we talking about? No, I will stand on this business here. That's insane. Dude, we will never get police reform. This is the reason why, regardless of all the commentary I do on this subject, I'm always shocked. Whenever I talk about criminal justice reform or whenever I talk about policing in this country, there are always dumb motherfuckers in here who will defend the police unconditionally under any circumstance. I, it, it is so wild to me and people will do this no matter what because they are so brainwashed to be like nope that's a position of authority shut the fuck up they have to they have to listen i don't i don't get it please rewind i feel like i'm going crazy with all this gaslighting let go of your ego and get on the ground bro not defending the police by the way yeah exactly yeah totally it's a bad advice to tell people to resist it's likely to get you killed i'm not telling people to resist cops dumbasses okay the you talking about dude what he was not resisting what the are you talking about are we did we watch the same video hello hello see some id get on the ground get on the ground do you think that this is a normal way to interact now now get on the ground what's your deal? he says what's your deal i'm a federal law enforcement officer get on the ground now federal agent sensing extreme aggression he also gave his id to the to the woman who called the cops i'm shocked so many chatters in this community is actually saying this i thought americans were gun wielding badasses but i guess as soon as they have badges they become submissive yeah it's also funny because this is like the same community that also has a bunch of larpers who are like trans people need to arm themselves immediately okay immediately you need to get your own guns up like you need to get your guns and resist the fascism we're gonna crush fascism unless it's a cop doing the fascism in which case you better be submissive and breedable you better f submit yourself immediately under no circumstances do cops actually do the uh, wrong thing really it's totally f valid for the cop to come up with his gun out okay why aren't you being submissive and breedable why aren't you being submissive and breedable? Ooh, be breedable to the cop, please. Half of the American cuisine is just boot. Yeah. Chat has no way of looking at the situation. There's a lot of people in this community that have no way of like analyzing the situation where the cop coming in hot with his service weapon drawn is incorrect. Okay. Like that is unacceptable. Okay. The f are you doing in your suck my cock i have a gun scenario what are you suggesting i do the funniest problem is like let's say i come up to you i say suck my cock, i have a gun you don't suck my cock so i beat the shit out of you and i haze you on the ground do you think i'm in the right still or do you think you're in the right because you didn't suck my because you're defending the guy who's saying suck my cock i have a gun you're victim blaming that's what you're doing oh my god getting on the ground is not saying the cop with the drawn weapon is right okay so why the fuck are you telling me that the guy is in the wrong for not getting on the ground. You only think he's in the wrong for not immediately getting on the ground because you think the cop with the gun drawn is right for coming in with his gun drawn. You have to listen to every single thing that the person says at that point. It is ridiculous, okay? And I know a lot of people will try to hit me with the, I, I know a lot of people will try to hit me with the, oh, you're just so privileged. It's like, first of all, Unlike many of you who are talking here, I have been arrested and I have had many guns drawn on me by police and special weapons and tactics people. Okay, so shut the 
fuck up. The person with the power in this circumstance is the cop. He has a gun. He has the capacity to fucking, oh, you're so cool. No, I'm not saying that because I'm trying to be cool. I don't think it's cool at all. The guy who needs to be de-escalating in this situation is the guy with a gun, not the guy who's on the receiving end of the barrel. That person is not in the wrong for saying, what the f are you talking about? I'm a law enforcement officer. I'm a federal agent. The notion that you have this part of your brain that goes, no, you have to de-escalate against the cop by immediately sucking pavement is idiotic. Under no circumstance do you actually have to do that, okay? And in a normal world, if you weren't so Amerabrained, you would see that reality. But because so many people are so conditioned, so conditioned in this situation that they just go, oh, no, you have to. What the f do you mean? It's crazy. Sorry, he was having a bad day. So now you get the f now you're going to get tased. I'm so shocked. Yeah, I mean, it literally is the victim blaming. Exactly. Women should never wear revealing clothing because it might provoke ill intentioned people. And it's somehow your responsibility is the woman's responsibility. The irony is the other guy, because he's a cop, was trying to de-escalate by talking to the hog, by being like, dude, you're wrong for doing this. I'm a cop. I think people mis don't just don't understand how completely terrifying it is to be in a situation like this. You literally think you're going to die, so your natural instinct is resistance. No, in that situation, he's not even resisting. He's literally saying, like, I'm a he is talking to another human being and chatters are like, no, you don't understand. Cops aren't human beings. So like, of course it's RoboCop time. So you have to, you have to get on the ground. He wasn't, resi he wasn't complying. He has a, p he has papers in his hands. No, the ATF agent is not guilty here under any circumstance. You're delusional if you think so. I'm sorry. Reg, you no. didn't let me show up. Legit ATF agent out on a case and his ID was used a taser on him despite him being face down on the ground and not putting up any resistance. Please, Yo, get, my, your my my taser, get your taser out. My Get your taser out, Joe. No, don't do that, please. Sir. Don't make me tase you. You're gonna get tased. Ow, ow, don't do that. Okay. Here. Get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. It is cuffed. Get him cuffed. Get him cuffed. In pain, Burke continued to tell the officers that he was a legit ATF agent out on a case and his ID was in his pocket. Regardless of the confirmation, the officer. Dude, dude, chatters aren't talking about what's right and wrong morally. They're talking about what people should do to not die yeah dude i know george floyd for example shouldn't have resisted right he shouldn't have he shouldn't have resisted why did he resist the cop that's why he died right you're right he they're, they're just saying like in order to survive george floyd should have not resisted in order to survive that is do you genuinely believe that or do you think it was a cop that was in the wrong there it's because police people derive satisfaction from other people receiving police brutality so they're trying to rationalize their otherwise dissonant enjoyment of seeming comeuppance but in a woke and radical way both can be true man what literally what are you saying now oh my god americans love mocking the british for dick riding the royal family then talk like this about cops yeah same level of inbreeding honestly smaller pay grade too you want hogs boss your long-term subs are the hogs yeah officer continued with the arrest and put him in the back of the patrol vehicle why would you make us do this i didn't want you to i wanted to wait no you knew what oh, you were sir, doing sir, sir, calm down. how'd you make us do this you knew what you were doing chat's like yeah he did chat listen <laughs> listen to the to the cops because you agree with him you know <laughs> Relax. Oh, sir. Hey, guys, please, just talk to me for one second, please. Get in the car. No, we'll wait. talk later. Sir, wait, wait. You wait. had your chance. No, I was trying to give you my creds. You no, didn't let me show them to you. never once tried. I did. Get wait. in the car. Wait, wait. Now. Have a seat. Please. Wait, I got to breathe. Okay, please, you can, let you me can breathe. sit down and breathe. Let me breathe. I think if he wasn't an ATF guy but a black dude, the chat would never say this. I'm just going to say it. Low key, a lot of people are like, well, he's like a white guy and an ATF agent. You would never in a million f years, you would have to drop your leftist credential at the f door in that situation. Some of you dumb still have that brain broken liberalism in your goddamn heads, okay? No f way, ain't no f way would you ever in a million f years dare to make the same argument i got i have a medical condition we're gonna get air to you get no, your legs no. in get your Sir. legs in we're closing this door the cops then forced burke into the vehicle ignoring all his pleas and explanations regarding his medical condition i need air sir please call an ambulance i'm asking for an ambulance okay 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 you're an idiot for crying out loud you're a cop you have an ass no the way i can't you? you're f***ing my head up the seatbelt's in place please 
Why Sir. would you act like this? I didn't act anyway. If you are a real police officer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I was trying to give you my credit. After about an hour, Burke was released without any charges. Later, Burke decided to file a civil lawsuit against the Columbus Police Department and the two officers involved in the incident, accusing them of use of excessive force and unlawful arrest. It was also reported that the trauma had such an impact- We're just stuck on the wrong idea. Everyone here knows that every encounter where cops can get you killed isn't about defending your actions. I, I, I hate this so much. 30 month subscriber, cease. I'm gonna do a culling. I think it's time for a f culling. Uh, it, it, dude, I, I, yeah, if anybody wants a perma, they can catch one right now, okay? You won't be able to avoid the top of the hour ad break either. You just sit there and fester and, you know, get on the long list of f haters who spend their every waking moment uh, talking about how much of a shitty person I am. I haven't purged in a while. In an instance, in an instance where there is very clear-cut definitional police brutality, and you say, well, it's about survivability, he should have just complied when it's a clear cut 100 percent cop is in the wrong situation doesn't matter doesn't matter if you think like oh well everybody agrees that the cop is in the wrong no i guess everybody doesn't fully agree no some of you don't have genuine some of you do not have genuine like firmly held committed beliefs and you literally get sucked in to the aesthetics of a situation it's not morally principled that's why I was yelling the other day at chat in another similar circumstance where there was like an unruly homeless lady with a baby, but she was a white woman. So chatters were like, oh no, that had it coming. It's like, no, dude, no. There are situations, very rare ones, where cops are genuinely de-escalating and I'm consistent and I tell you like it is when it happens. But, to, but chatters were yelling at me back then too. They're like, oh, well, she's a raggedy white like she deserves it a poc would get treated way differently it's like who cares man what the do you mean i know that as well but in that circumstance the police still has the responsibility to behave appropriately because they have all the power god damn uncle ben shit over here with great power comes great responsibility guys i cannot believe so many long-term community subscribers are just like whining in here about how like the cop had every the, the cop was in the wrong but so was the guy. He should have just like sucked payment immediately and been like, oh, I'm so sorry, officer. No, he did the wrong thing by trying to deescalate with this because he's also a cop. And because he's also a cop, he thought, well, I know these guys. I do this shit too. That was his mistake. A ridiculous proposition. Anyway, City of Columbus has paid out 12.8 million in use of force settlements since 2010. Where's the, I want to know what happened in the court case, in the other court case. Act on Burke on both physical and psychological levels that he has since moved to an administrative role within the ATF instead of field work. Our thoughts on the matter? Well, as evident from the footage without a shadow of a doubt, the officer's behavior is anything but constitutional in this case, and scream <laughs> like reactionary YouTubers uh, have a, a a better take almost of aggression. This. But to give them a little benefit of the doubt, honestly, no, both parties involved are guilty to some extent. This is what sparked it because I f said this YouTuber's in the wrong for saying giving the cops a little bit of a benefit of the doubt. Both parties are a little guilty. It's like no, they're not. No, they're and not. Burke could have easily no. handled the entire alter. So you as a chatter who is 35 months subscribed to me have the same take as an AI voice generated YouTube channel that turns out right wing bootlicking propaganda. Okay. Vacation much more maturely by just agreeing to just surrender peacefully in the first place. For sure. Sorry, I'm not giving, I'm not giving the benefit of the doubt to the guy who got, who was hazing this dude when the handcuffs were slapped on him. A lot of drama could. And yeah, remember they do this to cops other white cops that if you think that that's acceptable in this situation well that's precisely the reason why a lot of people see it totally acceptable for black people if a police force this untrained this lacking accountability can do this to a f atf agent then what do you think they're doing to black people the reason why i brought up daniel shaver is because nobody attended daniel shaver's uh, funeral except for his family and one group that group was Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter understood that police that kill white people unjustly are still absolutely going to kill black people unjustly as well. That's the reason why Black Lives Matter wasn't just about police killing black people. 
and that it's totally fine to kill white people in the hands of the police. It was about police brutality. Black Lives Matter was an excuse to riot. You're literally a reactionary, bro, he says. After saying Black Lives Matter was an excuse to riot. Avoided. Don't you agree? Speaking of drama, get ready for the next one as it's full of it. Though the man involved here is not from the FBI, but does have an excellent understanding of the law and is here to show how foolish and corrupt these cops can be. Mac Proctor, this guy, was parked in a private parking lot, patiently waiting for his takeout order while he is also on his delivery driver shift. Although his vehicle wasn't in an official parking spot, it wasn't obstructing traffic flow, and Mac had briefly left it unattended for about two minutes in order to pick up his food. Upon returning to his vehicle, a police officer approached him and claimed he was breaking parking regulations. All right, Mr. Proctor. Uh, that is your last name. Everything okay? Do I need to answer any of your questions? Oh, I said I want to. I said I want to summon the hogs. I didn't say I want long-term community members to f transform into oinking little piggies. You don't have to answer anything. Do okay. You, you um, don't have to. I'll you stand here all day. I can, get paid either way. Can you go ahead and finish your job so I can carry on? What's up with the anger, dude? I'm not angry. You're not angry? You always talk to everybody like that? I'm. I'm not angry. Oh, okay. I just want you to go ahead and wrap things up, please. Oh, okay. It seems like this officer named Diego Hernandez is getting a kick out of the situation and just simply wants to flex his power. It is true that in most cases involving cops, citizens get intimidated and reel back, giving a psychological upper hand to cops with this cop thinking they have all the power in the world and are in complete control of the situation. So it's no surprise that Hernandez here was taken aback by Mac's composure and his intelligent know-how of the related law. Mac knows that he has the absolute right to remain silent in response to the officer's inquiries, especially those that have no relevance to any criminal proceedings. All right, well, you know, I'm gonna give you a, a break on it, but you know what I'm saying, this isn't a parking spot, okay, dude? You're not giving me a break, you're harassing me at I'm this point. I, I'd like to here. leave. May I leave now, please? Uh -huh. Well, do you understand? This is how you know this guy's gonna be a dick to this cop okay this right here you see that not all the way down not all the way rolled down baby he, that's how you know he cracked it he didn't go full we are now in sovereign citizen territory okay am i being detained yes you are okay all right so do you understand why i stopped you do i need to answer any no, more you of your questions I'm, you don't have to okay okay but then again, I could do this all day too. Hernandez sure has a lot of time on his hands if he is willing to do this all day. Hey, Mr. Serve and Protect, don't you have bigger priorities like actually stopping people from committing a crime? No, because that's not what cops do for the most part. Sorry, it's just the truth. Um. <laughs> well, this proves that we judged him correctly. To be fair, to be fair, every moment that this guy's taking up this dude's time as the San Francisco Police Department, he's probably not beating the shit out of a homeless person. So these dudes are correct in asserting their rights, but it doesn't mean they aren't annoying smart. Yeah, no, I love sovereign citizen videos for that reason. Cause he can go in either direction and it only reveals like the truth is only revealed at the end. It's like a fun little, it's like a fun little game. Like who was like worse. It's usually the cop. That's like the, the worst person in most circumstances. Cause he has all the power. He does like to flex his power and bully people. I'd like to here. leave. May I leave now, please? Uh -huh. But this one, he's not even doing anything like wrong. He's just being kind of a dick back to him. Do I need to answer any more of no, your questions? No, no, no. Didn't he say a while back that he was detaining Mac? Jesus Christ, make up your mind already, officer. I'm not the one that's acting this way, okay? I'm just asking to do, you know, you know, I'm trying to give you a break here, all right? I prefer you just write me the parking ticket and let you me go. Write, okay, oh, okay. Hernandez proceeds to complete the process, but comes back again giving excuses like they have to wait for another guy to come and write the ticket. Having nothing else better to do, the officer tried to have one final crack at- This is illegal, by the way. Isn't he a canine unit? Like, like, this is bullshit. This is just like him wasting his damn time on purpose because his ego is hurt. Mac. Hopefully I'm not keeping you from anything, am I? Oh my God, he's like, oh God, he's such a f piece of shit. Oh, he's asking that specifically to get off on it. This guy's. I don't like talking. Oh my God, this is not this motherfucker's first rodeo. He's like, nope, I'm not gonna give in. I'm not gonna f give in. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Oh, oh hell yeah. 
Is everything okay? Is there any other issues or anything going on? I should know of? Do I need to answer your questions? I don't have to answer anything. I'm, I'm concerned about your well-being. Is there something wrong? Do I need to answer any of your questions? Well, yeah, if, you're, if there's something wrong, it would be nice, yeah. Do I need to answer any of your questions? You don't have to talk to me. I'm just saying. I'm just concerned about your well-being. That's all I'm saying. Usually we don't get people uh, hostile. I've not been hostile. Okay. Well, usually we don't get people wanting a ticket. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through all this. I could be having my lunch right now. And you too. I have to really give to Mac for displaying such calm and collected demeanor while Officer Hernandez bombarded him with all those irritating and nonsensical questions. Hey, Mr. Proctor, can I just give you your stuff so you can leave? Can you? I can, but you're the one. I would have let you go a long time ago. I what do to... I need to do for you to hand me my documents so I'll I can leave? I'll give it to you right now. I just want to know that, you know, that you're okay because usually I don't get people... All... Just... What do I need to do? Bro just needed a friend, dude. He just needed a friend. He's like, Whoa, are you okay? Can we be friends? Can we hang out? He's like, come on. I just, I'm so desperate. I'm so lonely, dude. You don't understand, please. Bro, yeah, gray name cop is right. He's literally, bro, the cop is literally like my haters who come in and try to f my day up and then when i yell at them they go why are you so mad i was just simply looking out for you actually i was just trying to hold you accountable i don't get it like what yeah he's just asking questions i'm just asking questions just curious just curious for you to hand me my documents so i can Let's be on my way you're okay i don't need to answer any of your questions okay, there we go again jesus christ now this is a guy seriously getting on my nerves what is he 12 I'm trying to say that uh, you're trying to display your power to me no, right now. I'm concerned about it. Is it a problem to be concerned about another human being? You okay. have no reason to be concerned about me. So it's okay then. You're okay then. You can hand me my documents and I can be on my way. Or we can. Fine. Okay. Yeah, like I got a whole ass girlfriend on this relaxing night and I'm just chatting to keep you accountable. Yeah. I can't debate you right now. Okay. So, okay. So if I have your stuff, you'll be fine and taken off and. The shit I hate about these channels is that they'll be like in this situation in which the cop that tased the ATF agent, both sides are at fault. And here they're like, this cop should be ashamed of himself and his misconduct. What a piece of shit. What is he, 12? Yeah. If only the cop busted out the taser and just like tased him on the side of the dome. Maybe then the YouTuber would be like, well, he actually didn't uh, properly engage with the cops lawful orders so i guess who's to say who's really at fault here maybe both sides are responsible okay like how did you just go from the previous situation where this dude was on the ground getting pummeled to be like oh you know you just gotta always listen to the orders right like i mean lawful orders right like, uh. quit gaming eight months ago bought a new car i have an amazing girlfriend I make a shitload of money and I'm buying a house this spring. I party every weekend. I'm never home. I'm enjoying life. Do yourselves a favor. Stop trying to make gaming a career. It's cringe as f That is such an older... Isn't that a... That copy pasta is so old, it literally can buy cigarettes in the state of New York, okay? That's crazy. You're not angry, right? Ah, the ever-wise Mac. Realizing he is not going to win this battle of wits or the law, the officer had no option but to let him go. I'm gonna take a chance on you, all right? Here, Mr. Proctor, um, you brought everything's cool, all right? We're blocking traffic here to your stuff, all right? Hopefully, everything you have a good day, everything works out for you. Oh my god, this guy's such a bitch, dude. It's like, yeah, I hope everything's all right with you. All right. Am I free to leave now? Yes, you are. Could you please step away from uh, the vehicle? Yes, I will. You have a good day. Mac was eventually allowed to go without any further problems. However, this whole incident raises some concerning questions. Why did he encounter additional issues just for exercising the Fifth oh, Amendment? This is such a good one. Moreover, it's quite strange this interaction occurred at all. If Officer Hernandez had noticed Mac's vehicle obstructing traffic, wouldn't it be a wiser thing to just request him to move it out of the way? But no, he had to show his authority and had to bully him. Kudos for Mac for not entertaining him and showing him the doors as he rightfully deserved. Not to mention the fact that this whole incident just proves to all of us how Bro, this motherfucker getting no stars on that delivery. One, the food smells like cigarettes. Two, it's four f hours late, okay? Sorry. Important it is to know about the law and handle such situations if you ever land in one. How Wait, what do you mean it's important to know about the law and handle the situation? You literally said in the previous situation, the dude that got tased, who knew the law was a little guilty knowing the law does not help okay
You can be the law, know the law, try to de-escalate with a dude that comes up at you with a gun in his hand going, get the fuck on the ground now, and it still won't matter. Important, is it? Let's find out in the next case where a bunch of cops arrested an ex-FBI security contractor solely for the reason that he just didn't know the law enough. How you doing, sir? Good. All right. What's up? Deputy Turner with the Sheriff's Office. The reason okay. I'm stopping you is your it, your plate's obstructed. Yeah. Whatever that thing's got, you got to take it off, okay? Okay. Because it's got to be visible within a certain distance. All right. When you went to driving school and a cop yeah. pulls you over, what they tell you? No, oh, you pull over when it's safe. To no, you pull over immediately. Okay? Let me tell you this. That, and, and, now, you pull over immediately. Sure. Um, because I don't know what you're doing inside this car. Sure, yeah. Hiding guns. You know yeah. what I mean? Officer yeah. safety is... No, you're wrong. You pull over when safe, not pull over immediately. And you know why? Because it is number one. It is for officer safety that you pull over when safe. Because if he doesn't, if he doesn't pull over uh, when safe, and you roll up to the car, or you roll up to the car with your little piglet ass, you're gonna get zoomed on by a goddamn eighteen wheeler. Okay, you're gonna be on the officer down page when he mentions things like safety and pullover protocols when the cop himself has no idea about the law and is lying right off the bat this part of the video is false this guy's an fbi agent undercover whose cover got blown by these cops oh i love that you see there's no strict requirement to pull over immediately for various reasons including traffic obstruction and safety concerns it's advisable to pull over as soon as it's safe to do so prioritizing safety above all else also if you find yourself in an area that feels unsafe or you're unsure whether the vehicle behind you is a genuine police car, you can activate your hazard lights and drive cautiously to a secure, well-lit, and populated area. Imagine slamming the brakes right in the middle of traffic or getting robbed, or worse, assaulted by fake cops near a dark alley, something a cop should be well-educated on before he starts throwing misinformation. But this is not the end. I don't understand what happened there. Like, like I, I genuinely, I'm still confused. I don't want to get back to it. I don't want to relitigate it. But it's crazy. Lower time, judge ruled on the Columbus ATF agent case recently, ruling against the cops' motion for dismissal, saying that the cops did not have qualified immunity and that a reasonable jury could potentially find excessive force. Scroll to the very bottom for judgment. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Big news. For the foregoing reasons, the court finds that a reasonable jury could conclude that the force used by the defendant Officers was excessive and in violation of state law and Burke's rights under the Fourth Amendment. If a jury so found them, if a jury so found, then the defendant officers violated Burke's clearly established constitutional rights and their conduct is not protected by qualified immunity from suit. Accordingly, read this, I am driving on the freeway. <laughs> Accordingly, defendant City of Columbus Joseph Phil Fihe and Kevin Winchell's motion for a summary judgment is hereby granted in part as to count two and denied in part as to count one, three, four, and five. Defendant City of Columbus is hereby dismissed with prejudice. Shadows were not empathizing with the ATF guy and thinking they wouldn't have gotten in that situation if it was them. They were wrong and ended up just bootlicking for fascism. Yep. End of the cops' lies. So who are you? Former NDOC and I used to work security at Harris. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a contractor. Okay. Uh, do you have insurance on this part, thing? My partner, huh? Do you have insurance on this thing? Yeah. Your partner or what? Now my partner called me. I'm a contractor with Southwest Gas. Mm -hmm. So I got to go over there and, and get him logged into his computer. No guns inside the car? No, nah, no fire. Okay. Fast forward to a few standard questions. The cop begins to ask more targeted and detailed questions, attempting to discover evidence or information that could potentially incriminate the guy. What do you got right there up front? Hey, that's a sign. I'm a contract. I'm a you contract security? So, 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 I think that chat was reacting to you, encouraging the ATF guy to not obey. The ATF was not guilty of anything. It's a given to me. Still, I would get on the ground immediately. No, dude. That cop coming at you with a gun drawn and you going, hey, you're in the wrong. I'm a federal officer is perfectly valid. Okay? It's perfectly valid. Please stop relitigating this. Okay? And if they shot and killed him, they would be 100% in the wrong. They didn't shoot and kill him. They only tased his ass. They were still 100% in the wrong. That's it. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Unless you think that this is a vibes-based situation. And like, if the cops don't like your vibes, they can just pull the, they can just pull the service weapon on you. Some cops aren't obligated to listen. Some cops aren't obligated to listen. It don't matter. They have to. That's the point. They have to. 
One, they are human beings and public servants. They have to listen to you. Just because they don't does not mean that, that you have to hand it to them. Anyway, let's continue. Turn it on. Yeah, Why haven't you taken the lights off of there? Yeah, I do contract work, so I have to have lights on this vehicle for something to work. They shouldn't be that color. Though. Yeah, they shouldn't be red and white, brother. Yeah, it depends on who you're contracting with. If you contract with law enforcement agencies, it's different. Which agencies do you contract with? The various ones. DOJ. Name some. A DOJ? Sure. So you have DHS? contracts? I've worked for DHS, yeah. Okay, so do you have a government ID? I have a contractor ID. Where's that? It's in my, uh, it's my head. Ready for the big moment? Where'd you get this? I think this guy is literally an undercover FBI agent. I don't think this guy is just a contractor. I think this guy is actually literally an undercover FBI agent. Dude, the red and blue gives it away. There ain't no f way, dude. You can't have that. Even if you're contracted, I don't think you can have fucking red and blue lights in your car. Also illegal. Federal Bureau of Investigation badge. Now the cat's out of the bag. The officers were shocked to find out who he was. However, this doesn't prevent them from going too far and exceeding their authority by searching the agent without obtaining his consent. I'm gonna read you your rights too, okay? Because you're, you're handcuffed, you know what I mean? So I feel more comfortable that way. But then, the police officer begins an unwarranted search of the agent's body and vehicle without any request or permission, violating the agent's Fourth Amendment rights, which safeguard- Wait a minute. Wow. Dora. What does the Fourth Amendment mean? The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Do you like the Fourth Amendment? It would also perfectly apply to the previous circumstance where the victim was an ATF agent. ...against unjustified searches and seizures, an act both illegal and unconstitutional. No guns, right? Yeah. Inside the car? Yeah. Okay. Who, because, like I said, man, too. Put your money in. Put that back in until I put it in the bag, okay? So the reason you're in cuffs, okay? Unless you're a sworn officer. I know in Nevada, you guys did. Yeah, you're not allowed to have red and blues. Sure. Right, because then sure. you could easily impersonate I mean, a police officer. Sure. So who issued this to you? My former employer. Your former employer? Yeah. So you used to work for the FBI at I, one point? I contracted with the Department of Justice. I don't think you can be a former FBI agent and still carry around your badge like that and the car with the lights. And the FBI. These officers are obviously displeased that the agent has a response for every question. So the second officer starts to ask questions he knows the man cannot answer, aiming to create a situation that might incriminate him. Is it normal to carry a badge while you're in a cover? Yes, dude, what the f Since you got the badge, where's your creds at? Where's your federal creds at? I don't have federal creds. Once more, it's crucial to emphasize that the officer's concern is primarily with the lights on the agent's car. They do not, and I repeat, do not possess the legal authority to conduct a search of an agent's person in this situation. Therefore, going into his pockets is entirely unjustified and downright illegal. Considering the whole light deal, things do seem a little shady. As the incident happened in Nevada, it's essential to note that it's against the law for a civilian to use red and blue emergency lights on their vehicle. However, this man never activated them. And when he did, it was during his official duties as a contractor with a law enforcement agency. Besides, the guy never said he was in the FBI. All he said was he worked part-time in the FBI, so he was far from impersonating a federal agent. The matter was further escalated when a bunch of senior ranking officials showed up who surprisingly turned out to be bigger fools than the two cops and decided to turn the car upside down looking for any signs of evidence. Who knows what the cops found? Or planted? Wait, what? Okay, I need more details on this. I need more details on this specific arrest. Do we have anything? 
<laughs> he said or planted that's crazy there's there's got to be more to this one right i think there's a part two in the description oh my god get cover get cover acorn down he's got a badge Wait, what? Is he shot? Federal Bureau of... He's an FBI agent. Uh, aggravated domestic? Yeah, with strangulation. We don't know if he's armed. Step up. Alright. Wait, what the fuck? I don't know how legit you are at the moment. It's okay. Special agent has. There's a 40 minute long video of the dude from the previous video going over the encounter. Hey, what's up, y'all? So for those that have watched my FBI agent impersonator video, we're going to be going over uh, the police body camera footage. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. What kind of lighting does it have? Okay, maybe he's not actually fucking... He's reacting to his own thing? Hold on, I got a piece so bad. <laughs> Okay, that is what is known as the fruit of the poisonous tree in terms of a uh, Fourth Amendment search and seizure violation. All right, let me explain why. We're going to go to the Nevada Revice Statute, uh, as such is cited um, in respect to this particular matter, uh, that being NRS 484A.480, Sections 6 and 7. Section 6... Six, uh, stating a person shall not operate a vehicle with any lamp or device displaying a red light visible. Displaying a red light visible from directly in front of the center of the vehicle except an authorized emergency vehicle, a school bus, or an official vehicle of a regulatory agency. Similarly, Section 7 Bro. states a person shall not operate a vehicle with any lamp this is absolutely insane how bad the audio is. What the fuck? Okay, maybe he's not a fucking FBI agent. He has a medium blog. Read this description. Navy SEAL arrested by sheriff was investigating DOD, DEA child trafficking. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? Bro, this dude is not FBI at all. Super spy hacker, ninja, guerrilla, instructor, investigative journalist, philosopher, freedom fighter, former disgruntled federal government employee, and comedian. Bro is not what this guy's just like he's a professional amendment auditor I, wait why did they let him go with a badge though then why did the vid act like the cops were in the wrong first of all the fact that he's out and about and making a react video of himself being arrested implies that he has to have like at least a government contract or something what is happening i don't understand but like the FBI is contracting motherfuckers like this? Like, what is going on with the FBI, man? Oh, my God. Yo, just when you think, just when you think the situation could not be worse, just when you think the situation could not be worse, you, you find out, oh, no, it's, it's worse than what you think. Probably a CI. No, a CI is not going to have an FBI badge, man. The fuck? Hello? <laughs> guys you know who are ci's like pedophiles okay like the fbi does contract a lot of people like that like pedophiles people who have done unimaginably awful things and then the fbi is like all right well here we'll lessen your sentence to go i don't know spy on a, a muslim community or something and infiltrate it that's what <laughs> That's what a fucking CI is. It's not a dude with an FBI, with an FBI badge.